Okay, y'all, we live, and this is attempt number two at this video. And you know, my internet be tripping. I already see it's already about to start tripping. But uh, yeah, man, 100 plus day C retention benefits and insights. And I tried to do this video before, but the quality was messed up, so I just took it down. Uh, and if it messes up again, I'm just gonna do a pre recorded video and upload it because it's starting to get on my nerves. So, uh, yeah, let's jump on right into this thing, man. This is the benefits that I receive from going off into the 100 plus days on C retention. And yeah, I'm I don't know where I'm at. I'm at like 130 or something like that. 130, 31, somewhere off in there, off in that range. But uh, yeah, on my channel, I just really like to do stuff and, and kind of just report back what I got from y'all. You know, I like to try different things. I've always been that type of person where I try diets try like just different things to see how it worked you know different spiritual practices meditation and i feel like this is somewhat of a spiritual practice if you read into it uh it is a spiritual practice if you read into it so uh yeah i just want to uh go in on the benefits that i received from doing it man and uh dang yeah my internet probably tripping right now but okay we're gonna we're gonna power through uh First and foremost, man, you're going to see a, a, a rise in your energy levels. You're going to see your energy increase tenfold. Like you're going to you're going to notice that you just have more energy than most of those people around you. I'm already a high energy person, so I feel like it was important for me to really hold on to that energy that I'm always expelling. It's almost like I had to get rid of my energy so I could calm down. But now I'm understanding that if I, I can just use that energy to uh to do what i want to do you know as i remember for a period of time i stopped working out i stopped doing a lot of stuff so like, like the energy was almost too much for me but now i understand what i need to do with it i can use it to accomplish my goals like i can use it to stay on top of things like i don't really take breaks like it's like the only time i really get rest is when it's time to lay my head down and go to sleep or if my body just feels like it just can't take no more man i'll let my body rest up but you're going to have extremely high energy, man. And, and you need to go do something with it or that energy is going to, is going to think of a dog. Think of like, if you've ever been around uh, dogs that are working dogs, like labs, German shepherds, um, golden retrievers, they are bad. If you don't give them nothing to do, they'll dig up the yard, they'll tear up the house. But if you give them something to do, they are amazing dogs. And that's how that's how I kind of see uh, myself is like and I, I was like that as a child, too. If I didn't have something to do, something to use my intelligence on, I, I would do a lot of mischievous stuff. I'll do a lot of bad things. And you think about that now when it comes to uh, retention is the fact that you're going to have all this energy and you need to go do something with it or you're going to go get yourself in trouble with it. You know what I'm saying? Like you you go fall off on some, some females. You're going to be go down chasing females. So. Yeah, that, that's something that I noticed, man. My energy through the roof. Um, and it's it's fun. Like, I like taking, uh, you know, the kinetic pre-workouts. And I be taking, like, different stuff like that. And I just be having a good time. Put my little music in. not go work out, man. I be turned up all the time. Work is fun. Like, everything is just fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, a second benefit that uh, would, would, I would say, apply to people who are more introverted. Because I'm an introvert, a real introvert, like, I noticed that uh, I'm enjoying being around people again more, which was that jumped out to me a lot. Like, and this just happened a little bit, uh, probably maybe about a month ago. Like I've noticed that my, my desire to be around people has increased and I don't typically like being around people. So that was, that kind of stood out to me. I was kind of like, Whoa, like what's going on? Because it's like, I wanted to, to, to be around people more and talk to people more. Whereas before I did not like being around people. I just, like I almost hated it, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm I'm an introverted person. I but now I understand my little cycles. Like I understand when I've been around people too much and when I need to recharge. But I've noticed that I became a lot more uh, social and sociable. You know what I'm saying? Like I I, I try to greet people a lot more and, and interact with people more. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just being stanky all the time, just you know, like that kind of attitude, just to keep people away from me, just cause I don't really like people bothering me and stuff. But uh. Yeah, that's that's one thing that I've noticed. But on the flip side, what is funny is like you don't I don't like 
people like you're not going to I don't like people pressing and like that's the thing like you know like females they be pressing so it's like I don't like all that because I don't like like I feel like you want something from me if you pressing hard like what what are you pressing so hard for so it, it, it's a balance between that you you're gonna like interaction but you're it and this is gonna go into the next benefit but it, you're more spiritually inclined so I don't know if you've ever fasted before like water fasted or just dry fasted when it comes to like you didn't eat food or uh, drink water or anything please well uh, you find yourself to be a lot more sensitive a lot more um you know you're you're just more spiritually inclined when you fast bro like it it raises your vibration it kind of uh removes all that because you know your body's not breaking down all that food you just feel a lot more connected spiritually and also i believe anything where you're refraining from it you're going to find benefits that are going to connect you more to the divine you know what i'm saying so like when you fast like water fast and stuff like that you'll feel more connected so now think about that you're also fasting from releasing you know what i'm saying uh it's kind of the opposite you know because you instead of not putting food into your body you're not releasing something out of your body you know what i'm saying and you're gonna you I, you're gonna feel a lot more connected like i just feel more like on it mentally like the mental clarity is crazy and on top of that i already take a lot of stuff to boost my mental clarity i like taking um certain uh mushrooms and stuff like that you know the lion's mane i take like the genius mushroom supplement i'd be taking all kind of stuff like that uh uh what are they called um what are they called don't let it slip my mind uh nootropics i like taking that because it, it really you know boosts me and i just love being on it like i love being focused so uh you're gonna find that the mental clarity is crazy like it's through the roof you know what i'm saying but on top of that like like it's not going to be that by itself. You need to you need to be doing the things to facilitate that mental clarity. You need to be doing like it, it. It's not this by itself. Like, you know how a lot of people be like, oh, this is the end all be all. Senior retention. You got to do it. No, I ain't kicking that message. And that's not the message at all. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the the overall scope of health. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to make sure that you're uh, being properly and and exercising that all leads to boosting your mood boosting uh your your mental clarity this is just a part of it a piece of it so yeah uh this is like a mix of benefits and insights i'm not you know what i'm saying i'm not doing it split up at a part or whatever but um yeah like i said and and you know i i like watching these videos and i like reading the comments sometimes i'll click on the video and don't even watch the video and just read the comments and see what you know people are going through and uh you know You'll see a lot of people, they'll be like, man, when am I going to get the uh, benefits? When am I going to uh, get this? When am I going to get that? Like, bro, chill out. Just do it. Just do it and and focus and focus on doing a lot of the things that you're supposed to do with it. I'm not going to say just do it by yourself. Like you ain't, bro, you're not going to feel benefits if you just do it and then you still eat McDonald's. You know, uh, you ain't working out. And you just, you know, you're, you're doing things that are not conducive to you feeling better in the first place. Like you, you, you want to, you know, make an overall lifestyle change with it. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be by itself something that's going, that's going to uh, have an effect on you. So you want to make sure, like, honestly, me specifically, like I meditate, bro. Like I, uh, I go to the gym a lot. I've been working out way more than I ever have recently like i used to be a gym rat and now i'm back on that gym rat shit you know what i'm saying so i just have so much energy i gotta go do something with it like i gotta go do something with it when i be at work i gotta do something with it like i don't be trying to talk hang out nothing i be trying to work like at my job like they 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 gauge your like performance or whatever bro i'd be number one in that in that thing almost every day bro because like you be picking or whatever i do i do my little 800 cases and go home bro like i be snapping you know what I'm saying? And then I might, after that, I might come home, eat, and go to the gym. Bro, I don't be playing, bro. Like, I went to the gym today, and and I was just so turned up. Like, I had to jump on here. I was like, let me do this video. And I'm going to be mad if if y'all, if the uh, if the uh, the connection is so bad that y'all not hearing what I'm saying. But like I said, if if it's bad, I'm going to pre-record it and then upload this video at another time whenever it's on my spirit to do it. But um, 
yeah like and another benefit is like based uh me specifically it seems like things have been working more in my favor i've been having more opportunities just because bro now think about it bro like i say it's not the retention itself that's doing that it's the fact that you're making yourself better you know what i'm saying because there was a point in time where i got more opportunities in life just because i was presenting myself better you know what i'm saying like i was being a a, a very upstanding individual i was working hard and people saw that and they want and when you do that bro you stand out bro so you're like if you if you're just working hard bro you got discipline you know you're you you know how to deal with people properly you're going to stand out more and more opportunities are going to come your way. You know what I'm saying? Because what what is the reality of life is the fact that most people are lazy and undisciplined. So by you disciplining yourself through something like this, bro, you're going to event, you're going to stand out, bro. And this is this through this practice. I've increased my discipline. You know what I'm saying? I've increased my discernment. Like I was just sitting there thinking the other day and I was just like, you know what? Like, this is kind of crazy. Like I was like uh, thinking about like, fasting with food too i was like dang bro because when you fast in like when you do a water fast and you just thinking about food you like dang i've been doing this uh with the retention for for hundreds of days and and i ain't just been like right, i'm finna just go bust you know what i'm saying like so it's like why should why should i just go, i'm gonna go eat now like it's the same thing and i've actually found that it's harder for me to not eat food fasting like that than it is with the retention bro especially now that i done got this far into it so and, and but that's the thing bro now i like to speak on because like i said i'd be deep off in these comments and semen retention videos just reading and you'll have another have people like bro uh why you gotta do this and uh, da, 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 and all that i'm like bro but see that's the thing bro i'm i don't know if y'all could tell by my videos y'all probably haven't seen my videos if you knew but it's a spiritual side to this stuff, bro. And if you're not a spiritual person, that's cool. But that's what I'm on. And you know what I'm saying? There is a spiritual side to, to just look at all re uh, different religious practices, bro. Like being celibate and, 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 and refraining from, you know, sex. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of a lot of these things, bro. Like it, fasting, bro. That's a part of a lot of a lot of those things, bro. And I honestly... I ain't scared to say it, bro. I feel like I have been transformed and reborn. You know what I'm saying? And what do they say? They say, be not uh, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And my mind has been renewed, y'all. I ain't playing. I'm dead serious. I don't feel like the same person that I was three months ago. I feel like a whole new person, and it is scary. You know what I'm saying? So for anybody who want to try this, like, I'm telling you not only just do this for for, you know, like there's a lot of superficial reasons that people may want to do this because they're hearing about the quote unquote female attraction. They're hearing about um, uh, you can get some money and manifest and all that. But, bro, I'm telling you just attempt it, bro, just to see how how it changed you, bro, how it changed the way you think, bro, how it changes the way you wire, bro. It's crazy. Like it. it <clears throat> one reason specifically that i noticed like through this journey is i was like dang bro i was way too sexual especially in my last relationship bro i was probably wearing her out bro like because i like i don't mean to get off freaky on here but i have an extremely high sex drive like so it's like i like and, and that's not good i wasn't disciplining myself i was i was wearing her out you know what i'm saying like i was doing that too much to the point where she probably felt like an object you know what I'm saying? Like, just so it's like I had to learn how to how to dial that back, bro. And but that's the thing. It's not bad to have a high sex drive, bro. That just means you you have a lot of energy, bro. But you got to learn to redirect that energy. And that's what this is. And moving on to another point. Not only have I learned to redirect. I've said this in other videos. Not only have I learned to redirect my energy like sexually, but my emotions, too. I've learned to channel anger. I've learned I have a lot of hate in me, you know what I'm saying? Just from from past times and stuff like that and a lot of stuff in the past. And, and sometimes it, it bubbles up. But I've learned to take that and, and turn it into something else, turn it into in, into fuel. You know what I'm saying? You you it's, it's almost like you're becoming you learn to become an alchemist of your own energy. You know what I'm saying? So. uh that that's really just what it is bro and 
I see my little connection bar low as hell, so I hope this thing ain't skipping because I just said a whole lot of stuff. But yeah, like this is definitely something that I would give a try, especially if you call yourself being on the spiritual path. This is something that I would give a try. It, uh, anybody else, bro? If you okay, look, bro. If you just trying to, if you just trying to uh, get some females and female attraction, bro, you ain't got to do this, bro. Just, just you know, work on your hygiene, work on your your appearance, and get you some money. You gonna get you some females. You don't got to do the retention thing, bro. Uh, like, there's it's not a cheat code. Like, it's you know what I'm saying. Like, this is this, if you want to increase your discipline though, and and raise your vibration and and grow spiritually, I give it a try, bro. But there's other ways to get females, bro. Don't you don't gotta waste your time doing this if that's the only thing you want. There's plenty other routes that you could take. If you just want to get some females, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Now, when it I ain't going to lie, bro, you got to get deep off in this water, though, bro, because, you know, they got like 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. I can't lie, bro. It didn't really start feeling super duper transformative until like honestly past like 90, 100 days, bro. That's when that when it really started ramping up, which is crazy. So like uh yeah you got to get deep off in that water bro and and that's the thing bro now when it do come to come to the you know you're 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 going to have more energy you're going to be more sociable and everything like that that's what has happened to me specifically this is this is what's happened to me I don't know what's going to happen to y'all but uh yeah you know there's going to people who there's going to be people who come into your life there's going to be people who want to deal with you. But me, bro, I'm focused, bro. I had set some goals in my head. And I said, bro, I ain't finna release nothing until I accomplish these goals. You know what I'm saying? So I really worried about nobody else. Don't you in Gabbana, uh, I ain't trying to kick it. Like Jizzle said, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm focused on getting to this money. I'm focused on accomplishing certain goals, bro. I don't need no distractions, bro. And and that's another benefit that I have uh that i have uh noticed is laser focused bro you ain't worried about all that like you you bro you are the source of your happiness you are the source of your admiration and and acknowledgement you don't need nothing external to to validate you you don't need nothing external like you you bro i wake up every day feeling like god you know what i'm saying like i wake up every day feeling like well i'm that thing i am that thing you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I wake up feeling like that. I don't need nobody to tell me and you shouldn't need nobody to tell you either. You know what I'm saying? There, there, I honestly believe that there is something fundamentally wrong with feeling like you, you like just, oh, bro, I'm not like him or, uh, nah, 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 nah. and that's the thing. You got to build yourself up to, to where you feel like you, you are what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, un, and, and like I said, with the spiritual benefits of it, bro, I just know in my mind, I'm like, Bro, there's no, there's no need to rush. I just need to show up every day. I just wake up every day grateful that I have a chance, bro, because I say as long as I'm alive, bro, and I'm moving and I'm moving like this, bro, everything that I want is going to come to me. There, there's no need to rush. There's no need to panic. There's no need to be like, well, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? Because it's going to happen. It has already happened. It's done, bro. I've seen this in my life over and over again. I've watched the patterns, bro. Like everything just works itself out in my life, bro. And I've noticed that. So it's like, so when I find myself worrying, I'm like, bro, what are you worrying about? Just look at your life, bro. Look. Everything works itself out like the way it's supposed to. So there, there's no need. You're going to find that. There's no need to worry, bro. You're going to have this clarity in your head, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even just like, I have to keep reiterating it's not just the retention that is going to bring you that bro is it's just building up your confidence like uh you know y'all know i rock with brandon carter bro that's like who really got me on my grind with the reading and everything you know what i'm saying back in 2014 but he says with uh with uh confidence with, with competence comes confidence bro so the more competent you are about stuff you know what i'm saying the more confidence you're gonna have so the so so the more you start to realize like and trust yourself you're going to have more confidence in yourself, bro. So, and, and that's what you get through discipline, bro. Through disciplinary practices, you start to trust yourself. How can you trust yourself? Anytime you tell yourself you're going to do something, you don't do it. You don't follow through. You have no follow through. You're not going to be confident in yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to have the follow through, bro. If I tell myself, I, I ain't finna, I, I'm, I'm finna, uh, I'm going to fast for a day. And then you break your fast. 
there's no con- you're, how are you gonna have confidence in yourself you, you like you know deep down like i lied to myself or if you say i'm gonna go on i'm gonna i'm gonna do this retention thing da, 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 and you break it like and you, you know you're not gonna be building confidence in yourself but the the more you show up every day like you tell yourself i'm gonna go to the gym uh today and you go you're gonna start building confidence in yourself and then also you're gonna start building better habits you know what i'm saying so this is more than just you know retention for all the superficial things that a lot of people talk about that they do to get clicks and stuff with the females and stuff because honestly bro majority of these females is just a distraction anyway bro they're just gonna knock you off your purpose bro you know what i'm saying like i'm not saying that to to speak down on them bro People, period, can be distractions, not just the females, but anything that's going to take you away from what it is that you're trying to do, bro, is a distraction. So really, you don't need nothing but you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Unless these people are are here to help facilitate what it is that you want out of life, you don't need nothing but you. You know what I'm saying? You 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 focus on what it is that you're trying to do You as long and think about it like this, bro. If you're a vehicle, right, a car, you want all the gas in the world. You want to just you everything you want is just filling up your tank, giving you energy to go after your goals. It's not fun being tired, trying to trying to get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Trying to really go after something and you just feel lazy and sluggish all the time. It's not a good feeling, bro. When you're when you're amped up, energetic, you're ready to get the job done, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I want to feel all the time. I love feeling amped up and energetic. I do not like feeling tired. That's why. And also on top of the retention thing, I've been sober for uh, I haven't smoked no weed, drank no alcohol, nothing like that. Uh, for the whole duration of this, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to smoke no weed because I don't like that uh, feeling. I don't like that relaxed feeling. I be trying to feel amped up, turned up, ready to go get stuff done. And, you know, that's really about it, bro. It just, it was on my spirit to do this video. So I went ahead and did it. Um, I'm very, I, my little uh, stream yard shit ended. So I can't record this. So if the video was you know, skipping and all of that, man. I hope y'all, if y'all made it this far, I appreciate it because I know it was skipping at some points in this. But y'all don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's AG33. I got more vlogs coming that I got to edit. I got more videos coming, more content coming at the range. And y'all just stay tuned. Stay stay patient with me, man. And uh, we're going we gonna to get this content out. And I'm out. <laughs>